We got Steve, who's calling in from New Jersey next. Steve, you're live on Talk Heathen. What's going on? Hey, how you doing today? Doing all right, Hello? Steve. I, I okay. Yeah, yeah. I see that you say you believe in God because you have uh, the you believe in God because of the supernatural. I don't know if that means you've experienced it personally or what, but you should definitely talk to us about that. Okay. Um, so I, I at, at ten years old, right? Mm-hmm. Well, here's the problem: nobody believes in the Bible that I've watched so far on on the Atheist Channel. So I'm not going to use the Bible that much. I don't know scripture numbers. But I do know what's in the Bible, a lot of it, okay? Um, but I believe that Satan runs this world, okay? Because when Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, Satan came along and offered him all the kingdoms of the world if he would bow down to him. And Jesus said, no, I worship thy God and thy God alone. So starting there, when I was 10 years old, right, me and my brother used to go in Atlantic City where my grandmother lived. And we used to walk the pipes that go into the ocean. You know what I'm talking about? The sewer pipes? Um, you know, I, I, I haven't been too far out to the East Coast, uh, to be honest. Uh, I've never been to New Jersey. Okay. So I, I've never been. But okay. I'm going to assume that part is is totally factual because I, I have no I, – I, I can't verify that either way. <laughs> well, you can look them up. You can look yeah. them up and get pictures. There's sewer pipes that come from the casinos and they go out to the ocean about, I don't know, 100 feet out whatever it is. So me and my sure. brother, my brother was eight, I was 10 and we would walk out to the end of it and just look in the ocean and pick the muscles off the side where it was real slippery. So one day it was real, it was a low tide and I slipped into the, to the pipe and I got sucked back with the tide. And I said to myself at 10 years old, what now? And mm. a light behind me pushed me out of the pipe. Okay. Mm. Now, my brother was eight years old. Whatever pushed me out of the back of the pipe, put me on the on the beach, and my brother was on the beach. There's no way at eight years old he could have ran down the pipe by himself and got on the beach and came to where I was, where the beach was closer to the pipe where I fell. Okay, that's the first thing that happened. All right. The second thing that happened 10 years later, I was maybe 12 years later, I did tree work all my life. I was a tree guy, all right? I took down big trees over houses with rope and pulleys, and I climbed them, right? So I was up, I had an infection in my nail bed prior two weeks. I had a splinter in my nail bed on my right hand, and it was really bad. I didn't go to the hospital and get it checked out. I just kept on working. So it was really infected, right? So I was in this big oak tree, taking down large pieces of wood, maybe 1,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds, using a 20,000 tensile pulley and 20,000 tensile rope. So when we lower down the big pieces of wood, they send it back up. They put a knot in the rope so it doesn't fall through the pulley. So that's what happened. They sent, they put the knot in the pulley, or the, they put the knot in the rope so it wouldn't fall through the pulley. And as it's coming up, it's going faster and faster. Well, when the knot hit the pulley, the pulley smacked my finger, and I went septic up in the tree. And on the ground, Jose was taking pictures of me up in the tree. I'll talk about that later. So I had a, a I had a, a bloodline come, like the poison came into my blood, and the bloodline went up my arm, past my artery, to my heart, okay? And I I, I seen that. I didn't know it was past my heart artery, but I seen that. So I repelled out of the tree and came down to my boss. And I said, yo, I got to go to the hospital. And he said, that's a baby wound. Get back to work. You got to dump the bucket truck. You got to dump the chip truck. You got to do this. You got to do that. And I said, really? I make you all this money. You're not going to let me go to the hospital. We were right next to Camden, New Jersey. And Cooper was right down the street. I could have went right there, got it checked out and came back. So he wouldn't let me leave. So I went home that night. I went to sleep with the line going down my arm. I could see it physically with my eyes. I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning, and I was on penicillin. So my girlfriend's like, you'll be fine. You're taking penicillin already. It'll go away. So that second night, it didn't go away, right? So I had to go to the hospital. My arm started really hurting me. 
So I went to the hospital, and the surgeon said, you have angels following you around. You should have been dead up in that tree. You're either going to die today, lose your arm, or have marrow poisoning for the rest of your life. And I said, are you going to help me? Can you help me? He's like, why should I help you? You don't care about yourself. He's like, you should have been here two weeks ago before it even got infected. I was like, I know. I'm a guy. I got, you know, I taped it up, and I went back to work. You know, I'm a tree guy, you know, whatever. So he got mad at me when I said that. He started slamming needles in my hand. And I was in there for three weeks. Nothing happened to me. I healed and I was good. So when I went home, I called up Jose. I was like, Jose, can you uh, send me those pictures so that I can, you know, put them in my portfolio and my, my book where I show all the the, custom, the new customers, my, uh, you know, pictures before and after so I can get new jobs. He's like, sure. He sent it to me. And in the picture, in the clouds, I could see all these other pictures, like, that God created because man didn't create this picture. It's impossible. My face is in the clouds, including dogs that I've known in the past. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And when I showed my mom, I said, what do you see in this picture? Excuse me. Did you, sorry. Did you say uh-huh. dogs? Yeah. Dogs. Yeah. I have a, I have a, my heart goes out to dogs and animals and okay. I love animals. In the- so, sorry, this was. I'm struggling to follow a little bit. It's quite a long story. Apologies. Um, it no was problem. you. You in the photos, you saw clouds in the shape of your face and of and of dogs. I'm just trying to clarify. Dogs, right? Yeah, there's dogs. There's three dogs that I know, and one dog that I have now that I didn't have until seven years later. Okay. Okay. So, uh, one dog got hung. Actually, uh, it was a pit bull that got hung by a guy. And a woman that broke up and out of spitefulness, he yeah. hung this dog. I'm and sorry, then, we, we then, really do have to kind of keep keep it going a little bit here. I don't I don't want to go on okay, any no side problem, no here, but okay. So 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 okay. if I understand correctly, we have t- kind of two different stories here. Um, well, that's two, two different things that happened in my life. Yeah, well, those so, your two. Th- those those were the two. Um, did you? Can I ask? Actually, did you? Were you already um, a believer before the first of those events no. when you were a child? No, I knew. I, well, no. I knew there was a God. I knew there was a God. Okay. But I didn't know. I, I wasn't. I wasn't walking with God. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. So, so the third thing that happened. Well, hang on. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We got. We gotta. We gotta evaluate what we've been presented so far, right? Before we. Before we move on. I, I think. I think if, if you're if you're okay with that, sir. First of all, let me ask this. That's These fine. experiences are obviously meaningful to you, right? Because, I mean, you've chosen to share this with us, like, first thing, right? Would you say these experiences inform your belief in the sense, like, they, they, uh, do they reassure you of, of truths that you already know? No. Or, or would you say, like, even without these, no. without these experiences, you wouldn't be a believer? Or, or, or what would you say to that? Well, I didn't, I wasn't walking with God back then. I was, things were happening in my life, but I still did me. I was, I was doing drugs. I was partying. I had multiple girlfriends. I didn't care about nobody else but myself. So, okay. Can I ask now, Steve? I hope I, I don't want this to come out rude, but um, no, just you, I think it's interesting hurt, because you, you, say you, you okay. <laughs> I'll I'll try not to anyway. Um, but because you you, you say you weren't walking with God, you um you weren't a particularly religious person. Why is it that of all of the of all of the people who do lose their lives in terrible accidents or, or through medical issues, what what was it that saved you? Why why were you chosen? I have no I have no clue. I don't know. I can't answer that question. I'm not God. But uh, you know, I can't answer I can't answer all questions. I'm not, you know, the creator. I'm just sure. a messenger. Okay. So so can I ask what Sorry. was it that led you to believe that that was God rather than um especially when you because of course things seem a lot more dramatic in our memories and our memories are famously right. and this isn't to doubt your story exactly but our, our memories are That's not fine. terrifically good especially from our childhoods as human beings. Um what what was it that led you to believe that that was God and not some unseen well, force of nature or of something you don't remember is- properly? Well, the rest of my testimony, as well as the picture that I have that I've shown at least 7,000 people, because I go, I go down to Kensington in Philadelphia and bring souls to the Lord. And if, if they don't believe in God, I show them that picture, and it, it snaps them out of it. Because that picture, First of all, you can't make it. Go ahead. Well, you can do a lot of things with a picture, but, I mean, 
what I would suggest is that we do have an email address, tv at atheist-community.org. I'd love for you to send us that picture, first of all. Uh, there it is, yeah, on no, the screen right there. Well, I, so, yeah. Yeah, that would that, be number one. Uh, number one, you should do that. But why, wait, why not? Where are you guys from? Where where, you guys from? Well, I'm in Austin, Texas. Uh, Emma is in somewhere on an island out on the Atlantic Ocean. I'm in London. Yeah, nice. in London. There you go. <laughs> Well, the problem with me sending the picture is I don't like to put it uh, out there so it'll be in social media and everybody can see it. And then wait, when I'm like, wait, say wait, I'm, wait, 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 Steve, Steve, Steve wait, wait you're, you're trying say, to bring people to God, no? Yeah, Isn't this fantastic saying, proof? You use this to evangelize. Yes, I do. But I'm, I pray for those people first before I even show them the picture. So when okay. I pray for people, they're feeling God, right? The Holy Spirit's. Well, look, uh, I will. I well. give you permission. You can pray over me and then send it to me. Why is that an issue? I'm. I'm I'll, I'll give you permission right now. You have well, my the, consent. Well, the, I'd have yeah. to mail it to you in a like. I can't put it over the li- over online because the one that runs the world will not let me. What well, you won't believe in that? So it's it's hard Satan. to explain. Satan, Satan won't let you send Satan's, it over email. Yeah. What is he blocking your Absolutely. Google Drive? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, everything he blocks. I had to get rid of my cell phone. I had a, I got a flip phone now. He blocks everything oh. from me. Oh, no, you, you just got to change the access. Though. No, I've, I've had this happen before. On Google Drive, you just got to save the change the permissions so that other people can view yeah. the link. That's all you got to do. Satan doesn't have anything right. to do with that, my friend. Steve, do you honestly expect okay, well, me to believe? Opinion. No, no, wait, Steve. You're saying if you went to a friend <laughs> and you sent them this photo, they can't upload it? You've already sent this to other people. Oh. Didn't you say you no, you I didn't want it on it social media? I thought that was the problem. yeah. Wait, yeah, you said you sent you showed this to it's people. Both, it's it's both it's both it's both reasons really. Because of I rather because mail you it have to pay over people because you know I would rather mail it to you. But Satan is mail. also blocking. Way, I'm starting to slightly well, doubt your testimony, yeah. Steve. First to be all, perfectly honest, I'm not convinced you're telling us the truth. Yeah, about first of all, what Steve, you we have a physical that's address that we receive we receive mail all the time. You can wait. No, wait a minute. Hold on. First of all, Steve. If you don't think that we would believe you, I don't know why the hell you're talking to us, because isn't the whole point of what you're doing and talking about your testimony is to share and to convince others of what you believe. You just told right? me she didn't believe what I was saying. Well, yeah. Why I said that? Because I'm getting talking. contradictory yeah. statements now. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to she, two people now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to confuse you. I understand. Yeah, I, it could be a little overwhelming because we're both kind of talking at I the don't same want to upset time, right? Nobody. I, yeah, I'm not trying to upset nobody. I'm not trying to lie i'm not a liar no more i haven't lied in so long i couldn't even tell you you're not upsetting us i just think i i seriously i don't understand why you can't upload a picture to the internet that is just confused yes because you said that satan himself is literally stomping as long as you as as long as you uh don't send it out you promise me you don't send it all over the world then i'll believe you but uh tell you what you don't seem like you have a, a rough heart. You said you'd let me pray for you. Uh, you, I, in your own time, not on the air, but yes, I, you can uh, pray for me yeah, objectively. You, Dan, yeah, you have to hear the words. Now, I pray for you already on my own time, but you would have to wait. Hear why? That's the I have to hear prayer. the words, or what? The prayer it, doesn't work. Yes. Or what? Can I explain well, it doesn't that. Work as good. It doesn't work as good. It only takes thirty seconds. Wait, wait, hold on. First of all, you I know you've read the Bible because you've just quoted the Bible to me. Jesus prayed in secret all the time. In fact, that's I'm something that Jesus. he encouraged. Yeah, I understand that. I do yeah. that too. Yeah, I do that too, but I'm not Jesus. You know, I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I think I've missed the part in the Bible where it explains how praying in different circumstances is better. Is it yeah. on a scale? I'm I'm confused. Yeah, okay, so know the Bible better than I do, to tell you the truth. You, but uh, yeah, I got a bad memory from all the times I've been electrocuted in my life. So, Steve. Okay. okay. Sorry, Steve. Uh, oh, let me tell you this: you gotta, you have to be able to. Like, I, this, it's very confusing. You said you have this awesome, awesome picture that changed your life forever, and could possibly change the lives the of other people, including us. Right. But you're, right. but you don't want to send it to us. I, are you afraid of our reaction? Are you afraid that we would make fun of no, you? I'm not afraid of nothing. Uh, I'm not afraid of nothing, but I'm just saying, you're not going to make fun of me. What's if you? What's going to hurt if you make fun of me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I mean, but I'm confused why you wouldn't be able to send it to us. Look, you can just post it on the Facebook group. I mean, like, there's lots of ways you can send it. Yeah. I'm, okay. 
I'm not on That's social fair. media that much anymore. That's fair. Yeah. But look, I, mean, I, I, I think I, I if you have a picture like that, look, look, look. I mean, Emma and I, we are not believers, but we still have strong convictions to talk to people about things that we believe. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Like we, we, we enjoy this stuff. Doesn't mean we're necessarily uh, evangelists for the causes that we believe in, but we are passionate about it. We do think it's important. I mean, I don't know. I think that if I had a picture like that, it would almost be my duty to share that with people, right? Especially someone in my position. Well, I can, I can share something to you that's coming soon if you'd like to hear that. What does that mean, coming soon? Is and that then, a movie? Well, it's no, no movies. Uh, the five barrows of New York will get hit with a small nuke and weather. And destroy the five barrows of New York. Huh? That's what God showed. A small nuke what? and weather. Huh? Small nuke How do you know that? And weather will destroy the five barrows of New York. God showed me. When? So he does that. Why? I don't know. He didn't give me a date. I don't know. You're going to have to ask him, not me. I'm not God. But he shows me things. You're not God, God but Steve, you, you seem to have a really good, like a strong relationship with him. He's been saving your life since before you were even walking with him. Amen. Right. Well, he shows me a lot of things. But I, if I if I tell you those things, you're not you're going to say I'm crazy or I'm seeing things or I'm hearing things. And since you don't believe in anything in the Bible, not a lot of stuff that I've heard so far, not just you guys, but Matt and everybody else, they don't believe the Bible. So I can't really use the Bible necessarily. I, I just wanted well, to say that think? I believe that Satan runs the world. Wait, but 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 here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, Steve. You shouldn't need the Bible to convince us of the truth of things. The people who had the revelations in the Bible, they didn't have the Bible right. to convince other people exactly. that their revelations exactly. were true, right? Yeah. So exactly. you shouldn't be right. you shouldn't have to rely on the Bible to convince us of the truth of your claims at all. Well, I just wanted mm -hmm. to say the Bible. Yeah, I know, but with with Satan, I just wanted to say he runs the world. Because if he didn't run the world, there wouldn't be no murder, hate, confusion, unforgiveness unfaithfulness pride i mean God unless everything is chaos and we have free will could right. be that God, i mean hell on earth is about to come is about to happen god's wrath is about to be poured out yeah percent bold okay and okay well so, i think that's enough time for this call steve thank you steve i, I yeah i don't uh right, God bless you. i don't i don't know where else to go with that but if you think that there's a new coming to new york you should tell the other people in the boroughs of new york I feel like that is also like a dude. Like if I again, if if Vladimir Putin uh, text messaged me and said, "Hey, I'm, I'm about to nuke Austin," I wouldn't just leave. I'd be like, "Hey, uh, Vlad, I don't know how he got my number. Uh, he's doing some hacking, but like Vlad, Vlad just hit me up. He slid into my DMs and let me know the nukes are coming." And I would tell people. I feel like that's a good thing to do. I don't know. That's just me though. Emma, what what do, you, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think I I think I would probably be letting people know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, you saw pictures of dogs and people in the clouds, huh? That's something. That went all kinds of directions. <laughs> that went that went so many different ways. I couldn't we, keep up. We were zigging and then we were zagging. I, I mean, got whiplash. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things happened in there. No, no other comments, thoughts, Emma, because like that, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I've like forgotten the earlier. I, I wanted to talk about the the water pipe and and, the, and yeah. the thing with his brother, but then then so so much else happened. <laughs> there, there was a water pipe a subplot happening, and I, I there was a lot going on. Um, There's a lot going on, but yeah. uh, Steve, if you got pictures, man, email us, please. I, again, yeah, I give you permission to pray for me. I can't do it on the air, but look, you can I, you can do that uh, just so I can see the picture, at least just for me to satisfy my cu personal curiosity. I, I, I want to know, but 